Welcome to Data Science Channel America. This is Friday afternoon, January the 14th, 2022. And before we get started, America, I have a favor to ask you folks today. And that is, if you watched the video on YouTube today, click the like button next to the video, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and fire up this report for the U.S. Just recently to remind ourselves that only, we're only looking at the previous 365 days worth of data. Okay, for, uh, during the past 365 days, the U.S. has had 40.8 million cases, 455,158 deaths. And we can see that, you know, the, 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 the cases are not starting off good for the U.S. Uh, uh, we're, we're very close to 10 million cases, and we're only two weeks in, okay? If we can look at the quarter, you can see also that, you know, we're not even in the first quarter, and almost certainly... The, the fourth quarter of oh, almost without a doubt the fourth the cases for the fourth the fourth quarter of 2020 the first quarter of 2022 is going to wind up being the uh most cases during the previous uh, uh four quarter of, of of the previous 12 months unfortunately well past the october 20 the third quarter the fourth quarter last year numbers now you can see again here Two weeks in, uh, the cases are basically going to the roof. Now, is this Omicron? I don't know. I'm sure the administration is going to blame it on people not being vaccinated and what, what mass. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Go, go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, blame it on some, blame it on everybody else for your incompetence and in preventing this disease from spreading. Okay. But anyway, last last. Uh, Last month, December was not good, and January is even so. This because we're already just all right. January 2020 was, was already the most number of cases for a single month in the previous 12 months. Okay. Okay, and you can see again, cases on a weekly basis is not good also, okay? And, and of course, here you can see the trouble right here. Uh, but again, you know, we, we don't want to overemphasize cases or hospital beds for that matter, you know. And, you know, and, that, and that's all these new cases translate into deaths. So it's just not, it's important, but it's not as important as deaths, okay? But that's what it's all about. You know, if the vaccine is working, then we should see deaths remaining fairly low, right? Okay. So anyway, you can see uh, as on January 13th, we we're averaging 70,006, 706,338 cases per day. Okay. And what about deaths? So here, here's where it's a little, news is a little better. Deaths are a lot lower starting off the year than, than uh, cases were. 
and again, this is the quarter, so so the, so it's, at this point, it's really too hard to tell. But the good news is it's still in last place of, of the previous uh, five quarters, January, January 2022, unlike cases, is still starting off pretty low. Okay, what about monthly deaths? Again, deaths are going to be are are going to be probably below these four months right here. I'm guessing remains to be seen. Uh, weekly deaths, you can see the deaths are kind of moving kind of horizontal right here. Daily deaths. So you can see here that on January 13th, the uh, U.S. had 1,875 deaths with an average of 1,660.5 deaths. Now, there's a question. For every 100,000 people in the U.S., how many people have COVID-19? Well, let's say somewhere between 250 and 300 or 100,000 people. What about per capita? I mean, obviously, you, you, you shouldn't be able to have, you know, per capita cases of more than one, right? <laughs> Well, the answer is, what, 3,000? So for so per capita, uh, one in 3,000th of a person has COVID-19. What about deaths? Well, for 100,000 people right now, on average, about one half of a person uh, is dying from COVID-19. And that, so, uh, you know, here, here's your number per uh, per capita. I have no idea what the number is. That's, that's, that's way too many zeros for me, okay? But anyway, it does conclude the reports for uh, U.S. for today. So we're going to wrap this first section up. Then we're going to go and, uh, again, upload the videos to YouTube.